Shut up and sit down. Welcome back, Dakar fans. We are on stage eight. Uyuni, I hope I am saying that right. Uh, man, we are still trying to recover from our penalties we took on stage five, where we had an hour and a half speeding penalties. Um, I think I'm still an hour and a half out of the lead of the rally. So trying to make back some time here. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, starting seventh on the stage. Um, yeah, from what I remember in past Dakars, uh, I don't think they have it this year here, but this this region, uh, Uyuni, was, uh, they were famous for their salt flats. I mean, they have this huge salt flat that they raced on um, a couple years, I think. Uh, one of the years, though, and it might have been the last time they did this, uh, it had rain just like it's doing here. Um, and the salt flats, you know, had a lot of water. A lot of bikes got ruined. Uh, maybe not ruined, but uh, a lot of people had electrical problems with all the water just being kicked up. I mean, I mean, this salt flat that they're on is miles long. Um, and they're just blitzing this thing. Uh, so it just, you know, a lot of people had problems. I think after that year, uh, they kind of, uh, they didn't do that again. <laughs> so I'm lost right now. I can't find this dang waypoint. Uh, for some reason, I am off a little bit, so I am just trying to find it. There we go. I think I found that track. All right, so I want to talk about my Dakar 2019 wish list and what I'd like to see in the next edition of this game. Uh, the first thing I'd like to see is improved physics. Uh, we all know the bikes, the cars, the physics just are not good at all. Uh, in this game. So that's the number one priority. Get some improved physics in this so we can actually, uh, you know, have some fun actually driving or riding these things, the vehicles, um, other than the only good thing about this game is the navigation portion, uh, which a lot of us Dakar fans enjoy. But you can't have a car racing game, a bike racing game, where the physics are just terrible. Um, so, I mean, I've overlooked that for this game just because the navigation is fun, the environments are huge, but, uh, man, let's go. Let's get some better ones. Number two on my list is better AI behavior. Uh, like I mentioned in many of my videos, you get up next to the AI, they just pull over. And again, what I think the developers are doing is making it so you cannot follow those AI to get, you know, if you're lost, you can't follow them. They follow each other all the time in the Dakar. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's let's get some better AI behavior. Well, they'll race to the end. They'll make mistakes. You can follow them. Let's do that. Number three. Yeah, I want to make a custom character, and I want to ride this race as myself. Yeah, it's cool if I can ride as uh, Ricky Brabeck or Toby Price. All these uh, you know, pro and the legend riders. But yeah, I want to. I want to give me a chance at this race. You know, that'd be that'd be cool. Right. my number four is what I'm calling technical stages. So this game is based off a 132nd scale. Uh, so it's not a one-to-one -one thing. Um, and most of the time, you know, the environment's good. Um, but what I would like to see is, you know, on each one of these stages in the real world, there's probably some really technical portions which are iconic to each stage. Let's reproduce those at a one-to-one -one scale. Even if they're a few miles each, you know, five miles, so it takes a certain amount of time and they're difficult to get through. Um, but maybe have them, you know, like if it's through a canyon, it's going to be through a canyon. You, you just can't, you know, it's got to be a more detailed environment. That's what I'd like to see at one-to-one -one scale. Better technical challenges. Let's let's do that. That'd be so awesome, I think, and would lend a lot to the, you know, mix it up a little bit in this game other than just following all these waypoints. You wouldn't have to follow the waypoints in these technical sections because there would really only be one way through them, but you would have to be able to do that. Yeah, so that's my top four right now. I know there's probably lots more that you guys let, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, let's try to uh, let's let's hope that they can make some improvements for the next game. All right, so we finished the first half of this uh, special, and now we're going on to part two of this marathon stage. We are still in 8th place, uh, didn't make up really much time it seems like. And th 
thank goodness we have not really hit any speed zones in this whole stage yet. Oh god, those are my bane. So for all the rivers that I've followed in this stage, it doesn't seem like a good idea to uh, do it in the rain with the chance of flash floods. And if you remember, I don't know if, uh, I think in past years they've actually had to cancel stages because of all the uh, flash flooding. A few moments later. Yeah, so let's fast forward a little bit. There's a lot of miles. Uh, most of it's just going on these roads and riverbeds. It is a fun stage, but I don't think you guys want to see uh, 55 minutes of, uh, of this. Get the idea. I like it, but man, I don't know if I could watch a 55 minute video of somebody just doing the stage in real time. Yeah, so let's talk about, uh, I, I looked up today how much it actually costs for the entry fee to do the Dakar 2020. Uh, you can still sign up if you're interested. Uh, I think July 13th or something like that is the, is the deadline to sign up for the 2020 Dakar in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so for the price, the regular um, entry fee for bikes and quads is 16,500 euros. Um, there are some discounts if you're a, a legend or a competitor, an experienced competitor. Um, so if you've done it for 10 years or at least two years, they'll give you a little bit of discount. Um, there's also some discounts for if you're doing it with a co-driver um, or taking somebody under your wing, I think, uh, a new competitor. Um, and some communication bonuses if you set up uh, Facebook, uh, social media, um, you have at least a thousand followers and you get in a newspaper or TV or something like that. And if you've done the previous uh, Merzuga rally, which is part of the Dakar um, series, I think, they'll give you some discounts. Um, for cards and side-by-sides, uh, regular, regular price is 28,000 euros. And for the trucks, forty-one thousand four hundred dollars. Uh, so, man, that's a a fair fair chunk of change. Um, all these guys, I'm, I'm sure, you know, some of them the, can do it on their own dime if they're well off. Uh, a lot of guys have to probably get sponsors. Um, and for an endeavor like this, I'm sure you could find people to help you out. Um, I remember helping out. Jonah Street a few years ago. Um, I bought one of his t-shirts. Uh, I wish I still had it, but I think I ruined it uh, painting my house or something. <laughs> I put it to use, Jonah. Uh, thanks a lot. But it was a sweet shirt. Orange. It, was, it looked really good. But uh, yeah, he was selling shirts. So I, I did that to you know, help support him, uh, an American writer, a few years ago. Uh, so that was pretty cool. So, but the fees, they include your boat trips from Europe to Saudi Arabia and back. Uh, sporting rights, medical assistance, your food and beverages at the bivouacs um, and rations, insurance, your liability insurance for your motor vehicle along the route, uh, a GPS distress beacon rental, uh, Erie Track satellite tracking system rental, refueling during the stages and at the bivouac. Um, you get registration into the Malus Motors Trophy with assistance, without assistance, sorry. Uh, transport of one trunk and two wheels is for bikes. Uh, the advice and technical help of an experienced crew and something called the eco contribution. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it must be something that they donate some money. The organizers do on your behalf of with your entry fee. Um, so you are responsible, of course, for your visa charges, your refueling on all the road sections, your travel costs and your satellite phone rental if you're going to do that. Plus, you know, if you're a car team or a bike team, uh, man, all your spare parts, uh, your bike, of course, uh, man, I don't, I don't even know what to guess what it costs for just running a bike. Even if you're doing like the, uh, I forget what they call it. I'm just going to call it the Ironman one, but where you're, uh, you're doing it solo with no support. Uh, there's a, f there is a class for that. Those guys are crazy. Um, but even if your bike, let's say you buy a, a KTM. Uh, stock, you know, what is what is that 16 to 20,000 US plus all the modifications you're gonna do? 
um, spare parts. Uh, so you're probably looking with your entry fees anywhere between 50, 75,000 euros. If does that sound correct? Uh, let me know if you guys have any idea what it really costs to uh, run a bike in this uh, in the Dakar. I saw him up in the mountains kind of now. It's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> that was not good. I hope my bike doesn't roll down the hill. I wonder how far it would have rolled if I would have kept it, uh, let it go. Anyways, up in the mountains now. It was pretty fun, um, but back to my wish list, the physics. Oh. So that was terminal damage there. Uh, I was not going to withdraw because I'm going to finish this rally. Oh, and it reset me right off the track. Uh, so I chose to restart from the previous waypoint. I hope I don't incur a penalty for that. And I almost hit that same rock again. That is a dangerous rock right over that blind crest. Man. But yeah, I took, I was not going to withdraw right now and restart this rally from the start. Yeah, I don't think so. But these roads uh, and the braking, oh, the brakes on these bikes in this game are so terrible. It's like an on off switch. There's no, uh, even though you're using analog triggers on my controller, uh, it just, there's not, there's no progressiveness to it at all. You just end up skidding. Pretty cool portion of the stage though. Man, but nice physics. Yeah, it'd be so fun. Ripping along here. And I cannot wait. Oh, I almost went off the road. I cannot wait for the rain to be over. I think the next stage it said it's not rainy. And I'm not sure if these, man, like my last three stages have been rainy. I think the last three might have been last four. Nah, I'm pretty sure last three. I don't know if they're replicating the uh, real Dakar from from that year. Uh, if you know, did it rain in uh, 18 a lot during these stages? try the cars at some point uh, after I'm finished with the bikes still gotta do the treasure hunt too hey have you guys has anybody done the treasure hunts in this game I I have not I've only messed around uh, I did not try to find anything I've seen a couple of videos of people with the uh, doing the treasure hunt that might be a good way to see different places in these stages like I know there's a few Easter eggs like uh, some stadiums with some tracks in them and different things and like I found the Nazca lines, uh, had the observation post, I made a video for that. Could you imagine? Well, I'm at f mile f uh, kilometer 480 right now. I don't know how much was on a road section, but a couple hundred miles, uh, I mean kilometers of uh, running these roads. Man, that would be, it would be pretty fun, I think. that bike the brakes suck oh man I am
am stuck. I gotta get off this. I am not resetting because then I will definitely take a penalty if I restart from the last waypoint in this situation. Which I had to do when I was uh, stuck in the dunes way back on I think stage, stage 3 or 4. But I need to get this off of this. I've been stuck on a rock before and I ruined my transmission. Uh, okay, here we go. Back up some more. Alright, I avoided the reset from last waypoint. Whew, thank goodness. We are almost home. come we're at the finish line stage eight complete see if i made any any time on these guys no penalties that's good so i didn't take a penalty for that restart from the last waypoint second overall joan Bereta, my uh my teammate beat me by a couple of minutes Tenth overall, I am still about an hour and a half behind uh, Sam Sunderland. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, let me know what you thought about that wish list, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks a lot.